Hey, uh, this is uh, Black Woman Seven here, and today I'll be doing a video uh, showcasing all the viable uh, move set changes that come at, that come to uh, certain uh, Pokemon. So um, that that will make it quite interesting for them, if you ask me. So, um, so I made a list of like I think I think that's like that's up to like eighteen Pokemon. So keep in mind that there's other Pokemon that like. Um, that got moveset changes, or like, like whether it's like move tutors, like learn ups, or uh, uh, egg moves that have changed. Like, and also I'm gonna be focusing more so on the doubles format. So, such, such as like you know battle spot doubles, VGC, particularly VGC 18, the upcoming, which is up up and coming, and uh, potentially any stuff that you want to see for if there is your guys are. And gals are interested in uh, about in any uh, doubles uh, uh, drafts format. So this is some of the new changes we've seen. So, all right. So let's just get right into it. So the first Pokemon we're talking about is Fermoso, and Fermoso got a lot of new toys to play with. So it has access to Foul Play, Drill Run, which is actually kind of interesting because it now has access to like a strong ground move, a single target ground move, uh, and it has also uh, these two uh, speed. Uh, control options in Electro Web and Icy Web for a very fast Pokemon like Fermosa. This could actually be somewhat viable since Fermosa is very fast and you could just use Icy Winch to <laughs> uh, make the Pokemon speed slower for your other allies Pokemon just to uh, uh, use. Normally you would see Icy Wind over Electro Web because uh, Icy Wind typically hits everything unless like you did Pokemon like whereas like uh, Electro Web it's usually it could be immune. Pokemon could be immune to it. So like, uh, let's say like, Lol and Marowak don't get speed reduced or whatever, or or uh, Manetric with the uh, Lightning Rock. So or even like, Ground types like Landorus. Like what I see when you could at least like chunk those Pokemon a little bit. So, <laughs> but the main two I want to talk about are Foul Play and Drill Run. So, uh, Foul Play is very interesting because uh, as you see. All right, all right. So let's give this a uh, foul play. So as you see, uh, maybe I should just put it here. Uh huh. So foul play is now an option for uh, for Formosa, which you can use that in tandem with the uh, Black Hole Eclipse or start Dark Hemium Z. So not only do you can you uh, hit Pokemon that have really high attack stack like Metagross. Uh, well, you'll see. Uh, well, you're not gonna see a Metagross with 100 and 252 HP this often. So, Z foul play can actually knock out Metagross. <laughs> so, with, if it's like out of nature, assuming it's not like intimidated. So, so that's interesting. Uh, um, also, uh, it also does a lot to Age of Slash because it gives it another way to hit Age of Slash. Wait, am I doing this right? <laughs> Wait. Z foul play, uh, yeah, so gives it a good chance to knock out Age of Slash in shield form. Blade form, obviously, it will just drop. And also Cresselia, Chris uh, it does a massive check to Cresselia. This is a special defensive set with like a uh, calm nature. So, um, so Z foul play. Not only can you uh, use it just to like hit like Pokemon and Landorus, just put like. Then again, for Landorus, you're probably gonna hit it with like Ice Beam. So, um, it does some chunk, or it does something, so, um, but you can also use this to, like, uh, uh pick off Pokemon like Meta, Meta, Mega Metagross or Age Slash, even Cresselia if it's weakened enough, so, uh, another move that we're talking about is, uh, Drill Run, so, Drill Run is kind of interesting because now it has a way to actually, uh, hit, like, uh, Heatran, things like Heatran and uh, Nihilego, even though it did have a way, it already had one in the uh, form of its fighting stabs, and like, but most of those uh, stab options are like, aren't that great, you know. Uh, high jump kick isn't gonna, you're, 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 you're playing with like, you're almost kind of failing with fire when you're using with high jump kick, because it has a chance, not only does it have a chance to miss, but, but also uh, the Pokemon could just protect. So now you have an option like in Trail Run. 
And also keep in mind, this isn't uh, affected by Jurassic Terrain from Top of Bulu, so this can just smack down Heatran, so. Even at 252, like, uh, uh, Ferramoso, uh, Anatomy Ferramoso are a positive, with a positive, like, attack nature, can actually knock out uh, uh, Heatran out, so that's really amazing. So, now, and then let's talk about Nilego. Nilego, um, damn! 200, wow! <laughs> It gives it a way to hit, and it's accurate as well. So, I believe it's uh, 95 accurate. So, um, so it's kind of like a same accuracy, high horsepower, and has a very high chance to crit. So, um, very nice additions for Firmosa because like that just makes it very even more threatening. So, um, and you could also run Tech Rage with uh, Drill Run. So, that's an option if you want to run. So, <laughs> like. You could, you could kill Nilego with through protect with this, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. And also, let me see Blacephalon. Blacephalon. Oh, you could actually kill a Blacephalon with this with foul play, so kind of interesting. Well, almost, but but Drill Run can. So, like, I would expect Ferramosa, like, if it's movesets to now include like drill run uh ice ice beam maybe a fighting stab like hydro kick or and maybe like something like bug buzz or something like that or protect like some of the combination some weird combination so yeah for is definitely something to watch out now because of its new addition so uh they just gave it a way to hit like heat trend but follow risking itself so yeah and ground ice coverage with like these stats is really really interesting so I think I talked more about Fermosa too much so uh, let's go to uh, Buzzwool now Buzzwool um, I listed some of the, the tutor moves here uh, because most of the tutor moves that you would think Buzzwool would get like Ice Punch, Fire Punch and uh, um, what was it? Ice Punch uh, no I think it only gets like Ice Punch and Thunder Punch like it already had those moves, but one of the new addition it got was a drain punch, which now gives it a reliable way to get recovery. It already had leech life, so and stab. So this that's also a fighting type move. So you don't have to rely on leech life anymore. Assuming that you're this is like you're using like certain uh, like let's say an assault vest like set, you can now rely on a drain punch just to get recovery and get good stab damage against like say a normal type, a fighting type, or steel type while replenishing your HP. Um, so it's a really good uh, coverage option that Buzzle picked up along the way. So, um, And it still has its, and it still like has some really good moves. Like its move pool is already great, if you ask me. It has access to Thunder Punch, like Thunder Punch, uh, a Poison Jab, Ice Beat Punch, Earthquake, uh, or even like strong, uh, Leech Life and even stronger uh, bug moves like Super Power and uh, not a no, fighting with like superpower and like hammer. Sorry, I misspoke. But yeah, there's some uh, other options I want to list down, like outrage for dragon types. I know I don't think outrage would work now. <laughs> it's not an option, but I would, in case you guys are interested in running the outrage. But then again, Buzzle has a very high attack stat, so you're probably running ice punch. Um, and it also had a, has access to buck bite, so if you want to steal berries or Think about stealing any berries. Uh, bug bites to move for you. So, um, one last. It didn't get knockoff, which is unfortunate. Which is something that a lot of players are kind of hoping for. It would make this thing even more stronger, if you ask me. So, yeah. But I think Drain Punch is like the big selling point because with a Pokemon that, that has a base HP of 107, 139 uh, defense, you would think this is like the prime Pokemon to have Drain Punch with. So. I listed, look, lastly, I listed Stomping Chantrum here because it's a new, not because, oh, it's just a new coverage move that not just Buzzle gets, but a lot of Pokemon get it. Like, like um, basically Stomping Chantrum is now a solid, like, I don't want to say solid, but like maybe like, like, uh, like the effect is kind of like, you're, you're not going to get the effect most of the time. I don't think you're gonna get the 150 power if assuming the move failed last time because first of all it doesn't activate if someone you if you attack to a protect or such so 
I think you likely attack it to a flying type of, so <laughs> then you maybe you can like get it off, but like but I think this is more so because uh you now have a single target ground move that could just hit stuff like uh uh like Heatran or uh what is it? Heatran and uh Nalego without actually hitting them. Hitting your own target, so then again, if unless unless you you're using a weird the strategy like you know bulldozing and then you get like weakness policy like you know how like salamander teams work but uh, so yeah so that's what Buzzwell got so got drain punch not too much too shabby if you ask me now that I go didn't get that many moves like you got access to a foul play knockoff it has this new move called ally switch which can be very interesting if you play it right since uh I don't know if this has priority so like, let me check. Let's... Well, well, then again, I'll check right now, so I'll just continue on. But, no, Lego didn't get that much. Like, it has, it has access to foul play. To target, uh... Like, Pokemon with high attack stats. But, I don't know whether or not this would be... As good, so... Like, and lastly, we have Worry Seat. So, it could, like... So, it can, like... Re Suppress an ability, so the Pokemon will get insomnia. So, so yeah, um, so it's not the best thing to for a Nilego, but at the same time, the the bit the way the fact you can change an ability now is great. So yeah, um, but then again, it didn't really get much to, to this format. So just uh, change. So, uh, let's talk about this one because I'm very excited about this one. Cartana. Um, I think Cartana is still gonna be used a lot more. Like not because of the fact that it just got knocked off in Tailwind, but I think it's just because it still has that 181 attack stat and 109 speed. Like the fact that it still outspeeds things like Terrakion is still gonna be very <laughs> very interesting. So and it's also like the fastest like like offensive grass type Pokemon like in the game so um, I want to talk about Kartana in a bit so um, now that uh, Kartana has um, a stronger um, how to say uh, dark move in uh, knockoff because knockoff is technically a no drawback play like you and it's also a good information move if you ask me so you get it not only do you knock off, like, you get chip damage on the Pokemon, you actually just knock off an item. Like, you can knock off a berry, you can knock off a, uh, like, one of those 50% berries. Like, let's say you're using that, now you don't have to deal with, say, an Arcanine that's like, oh, it's about to recover back its health, so you just take away its HP. So, well, at least, you technically take away 50% of its HP, so. So it's a way to, like, for Kartana to, like, just give it to utility so you're more likely gonna see like uh sacred sword knock off leaf blade now like i'm i am actually predicting this might be its moveset for a while i didn't protect so this might be it's like attacking moveset now because dark fighting uh i think it's like perfect coverage except for i think fa uh fairy some fairies so on the last slot is gonna be so i it didn't really get a, like a good steal move but i got but I did get access to uh, an interesting uh, so support move in Tailwind. Uh, keep in mind this is, hasn't been updated. So, um, so Tailwind, as you know, doubles the speed stats of uh, target speed stat or of all Pokemon on your side of the field. It doubles it. So, but what Z Tailwind does, <laughs> and I think you guys, I think you all get where I'm going with this. Let's say if you have Flying Union Z on this guy, uh, Z Tailwind, you can allow, you can basically uh, get Tailwind up when even when you're taunted and uh, have a plus two crit ratio. So expect this thing, and with a move like Leaf Play, you're gonna be critting things all the time. So that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so that might be gimmicky, but just fun to try that out. So. But I think the big selling point is that Cartana now has a uh, knockoff, so it's gonna be doing, um, like, 
it's I think it's this alone is gonna make it more annoying to deal with because it'll just like remove the items when we're which are dealing with and it has a high very fast speed stat so you just gotta watch out for Cartana now so and it has access to tailwind uh, speed control and tailwind so yeah um, the next Pokemon we're gonna be talking about they don't have the form for this guy yet but it's a Lycanroc um, dust form <laughs> shitty way to put it right here but yeah um, so I didn't talk about dust form in the other video but apparently it has access to these moves uh, it's this like apparently a uh, Lycanroc dust form can be bred as in you can actually get another Lycanroc dust form for yourself alongside the event one so and it has access to and it got some very interesting uh, coverage options like a Celebrox it has access to Drill Run and Iron Head so its base speed is going to be base 110 so it's 2 points slower than the original but it has two additional attack points so that's something to note um, I don't think you'll see Lycanroc Dusk a lot but this is something I just wanted to point out um, but something you will like to like you guys might see like I don't know how well Lycanroc Dusk will do because most of the time you see Lycanroc Midday that's why I kept it this way so so Midday now has like also Draw Run as well so it's not gonna be boosted by Tough Cross because most of the time you see these things with uh, a sand user like uh, Tyranitar or Gigalith so yeah um, but yeah like uh, this is uh, something interesting I guess you could say boosted Iron Head oh, with Tough Cross might be fun so um, next Pokemon we're gonna talk about is uh, one of the big guys literally the big kahuna here um, uh, Kamo'o. -oh. So, Kamo'o, -oh, um, like, in this generate, uh, well, in this change, like, got a significantly better, like, with access to, uh, a stronger fighting stab in close combat and drain punch as well. He has a lot of, uh, new tutor moves, like the elemental punches, uh, I think it has access to superpower now. Then again, you're gonna always run close combat for that. You also have Iron Head as well. And not to mention, I put Clanning Scales to illustrate its uh, Z move, Dragonium uh, Z. So, so regarding uh, Kamo's uh, Z move ability or Z move and its uh, potential stat ups, here's what I have to say about it. I'm still not convinced it'll be good in like even in doubles, just given the fact that there's just a presence of fairy types. There's a like large plethora of fairy types like Tapu Koko and more notably like Tapu Fini. And the fact that Tapu Fini is still the second most used Pokemon in like Battle Spot doubles isn't a good sign for this thing because like a lot of people forget that like Missy Terrain like half the damage of all like dragon moves. So if you're using Zeke like Clangorous uh, scales or something or I think I forgot what the exact I forgot the exact name, but if you're using a Kamo Z move, like, 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 it's gonna be basically hitting like two Draco meteors on your opponent's side, which is still like really, really strong. But the problem is, if your opponent has Tapu Fini on the field, like, has like Tapu Fini or Misty Terrain on the field, it's gonna that damage should be cut in half. And not to mention, from like based off the leaks I've read apparently clanging like the, the the stat boost don't like they don't give you the stat boost if you like if you target a fairy type so you have to target a fairy type Pokemon unless to get the stat boost like all the plus one and everything if you don't if you target to something like a top of Fenia top of Lele or even like a Mimikyu that chances are it's dud and Kamo's like is already like oh it's gonna be like two foot in the way so it still has great coverage options don't get me wrong it has like close combat and like ice punch and fire punch now so um Kamo was really really good on that aspect it could be a good choice band user or like a setup mod but and it still has some neat abilities to try I think um, I think people might, for those stat up teams, I think they'll try soundproof just to prevent themselves from getting a reward. 
or being hit with Hyper Voice, because Pixelate Gardevoir and Sylveon Mints are going to be hounding this guy, so Soundproof will be like the preferred ability for this for Como. Like I don't think it'll fear Gyro Balls from Forever Thorn. Like I think or an Overcoat. Like you could always have like a uh, like. Ironically, you get out top of Coco with Onya Field or even top of Fini. So. Um. So yeah. Um, but that said, I still think this is a really good, like, Kamoa got significantly buffed this change, and it, you might see it a lot early on, but I think it will drop off in usage, so, so, alright, uh, next top, next top, uh, roll. So, these are the Tapus and some of the Pokemon I've used, see, noticed, so, um, Tapu Koko, so, Tapu Koko didn't really get much. It didn't get access to two new uh, tutor moves in Thunder Punch and Iron Head, so for its uh, physical move pool. Now, I'm not so sure how this this will be. This will change Tapu Koko because most of the time you're gonna see Tapu Koko with uh, as a special attacker. Like I, early on, we saw it as a physical attacker to like hit like things like Tapu Fini. But the thing is, um, it really depends on how popular like. Uh, like certain like lightning rock Pokemon are gonna be like Alolan Marowak. I still think Alolan Marowak would be like common because of how strong it is. But I think Tapu Koko is just is probably just gonna um, stick to being a special attacker. It does have a way to hit like things like Tapu Bulu now and Tapu Lele, but like um, I'm just not so sure if it's kind of worth it compared to like just going fully special. So so, but this is something in which like. I, I don't even see, like, I don't see this, like, the most top of Kogo sets change as much, so it's, like, probably gonna be, like, specially oriented. People might try the physical set, but it's just, uh, I think those will those stay purely, like, dormant or, like, kinda, like, you now people won't use it as often, so. For top of Bulu, um, why did I listen to Focus Blast? Um, top of Bulu didn't get much. This generate, like, this for these uh, movesets. I think the only thing that was notable is uh, Seed Bomb and Dochop, but then again, uh, you're always gonna run Horn Leech because Horn Leech and Seed Bomb are like almost the same base power. The only difference is that Horn Leech gives you recovery as well, and given that you have Stab and Grass Terrain, you're gonna, you want that recovery. And we'll. Whereas Seed Bomb doesn't give you any added effects, so and it's just five points stronger. So and if you want a stronger move, you're best well just run like Wood Hammer. So yeah, it did get access to a uh, Dual Chop, so it's it can now have a, it now has a way to hit Dragon type Pokemon. But like chances are likely you're only gonna see it like oh now I remember the move. Like, uh, chances are you're only gonna see like Dual Chop on like singles teams like Dolchop like like I said same thing with Tweeny like you don't want to set up a Kamo you don't see dragon moves as often like these days so um but it's definitely something to know I just wanted to say it so um I don't think it's like it'd be safe because like running dragon like I'm not Dol like not dragon like Dolchop it's good to hit like things like Salamence on the in the air because they're not touching like the mystery but it, it's kind of, a, uh, that's only it, so chances are you're only going to have things like Wood Hammer and Horn Nature and with like maybe a Fighting Stab like uh, Super Power, so. Lastly, I forgot I got a uh, Focus Punch, so if any of you have a Trick Room team that wants to abuse after you, well, top, or you just want to try to see uh, Focus Punch, then, uh, <laughs> well, that's all I'm going to say, so. Um... Top Bull is your guy, so. Um, next Pokemon, uh, Top of Fini. Uh, Top of Fini, I forgot to put a knockoff here. Uh, Top of Fini, uh, I think everyone kind of knew that Top of Fini was going to get, like, an Icy Wind. Like, given that most of the bulky waters, or most of the water types already got, have gotten Icy Wind, so why not Fini? So, uh, now Fini has a way to give, uh, speed control for its, uh, allied Pokemon, so. Expect this thing to be. I don't think we'll see this over Suicune anytime soon. 
Um, it's just that I think Feeny is more offensive. Feeny is a lot more offensive than Sweet Slim, just keeping that, that in mind. So, uh, but this gives it another, it just adds another uh, thing to Top of Feeny. It's like, Top of Feeny is already one of the most used uh, Pokemon in the format and like the Battle Spot doubles. So, the fact that you gave Feeny like a way to hit like something like a Landorus on the Switch in, or like as well, it's just uh, a reducer speed is amazing because like normally you just want to have like a like you want like your you want to support your team as well so um and it's pretty much a no drawback play so just reducing the speed since icy wind um doesn't get like isn't immune by any pokemon or anything except for wide guard so um just reducing the speed is amazing so uh it also got access to trick Trick is very interesting since uh, you might see that more often on spec sets, uh, but I don't know. Like Trick is mostly there just to uh, remove a Pokemon's item, like and just give it like, like let's say like you want to uh, trade a uh, specs to like an Alolan Muck or uh, for its Berry, so you can do that now. So and cripple it. Now it's stuck using one move, so uh, that's an option. Lastly, it has access to knockoff now, so not that uh, it's not that important, but something that to note that it that Top of Fini gets, so um, it can now knock off items. But I think Trick and Icy Winter will be used more on top on it than it's like like it already has. A, it, to be honest, Top of Fini has a very extensive move pool, so like I think we'll see a rise in support sets, so. Yeah, like it has access to things like Soak, seen those a lot on the ladder. Um, it has access to Heal Pulse, Taunt, Nature's Madness, and like even things like Ice Beam and Haze. So, um, we mostly see like uh, Calm Mind or like Specs on the ladder. Recently, we saw Rise and Scarf, so maybe we'll see like Support Feeny become more of a thing now. So, yeah. Um, next Pokemon we are going to talk about is Cresselia, so. Cresselia now has access to two interesting moves in its arsenal, Recycle and Ally Switch. And let's talk about Recycle first. So, remember how, uh, like, Cresselia doesn't, good thing it doesn't have Glut, like, it does, it does not have Gluttony. Good thing Cresselia does not have Gluttony. I'm just saying that, though. Um, Recycle is very interesting because you can uh, recuperate an item that you need to use. So, let's say you want to recuperate, like, a Figgy Barrier. Let's put a Mago Berry, because it's still like one of the 50% berries. Nah, yeah, nah, you're gonna get poisoned a lot, so let's put Appa. Uh, so now you have like some form of steady recovery, compared to like something like uh, Moonlight. Which is only 8 PP, so... And it can get like reduced by like, let's say, like Sand. And, like the healing could get reduced by, say, Sand, or Hail, or Rain, so... In Sun, it will get increased significantly, but now Cresselia has a viable, a somewhat viable recovery option in the Recycle, so. Uh, if if you see, like, the support sets, or even the, like, the tank sets with the uh, Calm Mind, like, chances are you might see uh, Recycle more often. Uh, bear, keep in mind that since this doesn't, this doesn't have Gluttony, this thing has to be at below 25% right? or at below 25% so to activate the berry. So you have a good amount of t a time to kill Cresselia before it can get back to berry. So, but this is another thing that Elliot Cresselia can now do. So, one thing I got, and I think this is also something I had before, but I'm not so sure. But now Cresselia has access to a move called Ally Switch, which uh, um actually switches places to the Pokemon that on your side of the field as well. So let's say you're going for a Tech Rage um, on your um, your opponent wants to go for Tech Rage onto uh, let's say uh, uh, Heatran. So. And Cresselia can now use the move Ally Switch and switch positions with your opponent with your own po not with your opponent but with your own oh that would be broken. What I just said, um, and 
it's kind of interesting because now you have a way to like uh uh redirect like kind of redirect z move pressure like let's say like you want to like Cresselia is going to be attacked by a fire move and you have a heat trend on the field you can go with ally switch and the best part about this is that ally switch has priority so you can just uh switch positions with your heat trend and they could take the fire like the fire z move and yeah and same thing with Cresselia. Cresselia can just switch positions and like um take the uh like a, a Z Tech Rage or Z Earthquake, so that'll be really, really, it'll come in handy. So, and it's just another, it just adds another thing, whether another level of, uh, like, it just adds another level of, of, like, I guess you could say mind games if you ask me, because I'm just looking right now and apparently it has plus two priority, so, um, that's very interesting. So, this is pretty much like going for like follow me. It's basically like, it's almost like if you're using follow me to like, kind of redirect the attack in a way. So I think we might see ally switch a lot more often. Like, so, but it's, it, it's kind of a weird way because like, I think we might see ally switch Cresselia a lot more because in tandem with something like Recycle, then you could just keep switching positions and just, uh, force your opponent to like guess okay what's gonna be switching in and out so or now what's gonna switch positions as well it's, i'm not saying like oh the pokemon's gonna switch out but another one on your on your uh, on your side of the field like the other two that you have in the back but like this is gonna be this is gonna put a lot of mind games if you ask me so Cressalia is definitely like this is just something that i just it's a very very interesting move if you ask me so all right, so the next Pokemon we're gonna talk about is uh, Lolan Muck. So, a Lolan Muck, well, it already had access to Knockoff, since everyone's seen Knockoff every now. So, uh, but it now has access to Recycle and Ice Punch. Well, all most of the Elemental Boots moves, but I think uh, the big ones I would just list them out on are the Elemental Punches. I would just include Fire Punch here. Also, it also has Thunder Punch and Recycle. So basically, the same thing that Snorlax does. Muck can now do so that's huge if this was like still like bgc 17 this would this would have gave muck this would have buffed muck even further but at the same time now that we're getting a format change like the thing is like like if you think about it like muck will have to rely on let's say you're gonna let's say like let's say curse um, let's say you have a, a move like knockoff on your move pool and you want to have a poison move because the fairies are everywhere so you want to have something like poison jab then you have curse now you have like now you have to make a choice between whether you want protect or recycle or even curse so so like the thing with muck is that it's, it's really nice if you ask me because gluttony will like allow you to have like it's like in tandem with like recycle. It's gonna be like, it's literally it's literally recovery. And like its own version of recover, if you ask me. And it just that you have to get back to bear every so often. So now the problem with this is just I think the format change, like, um, and the fact that I think like Smuck suffers a little bit from like four moon slot syndrome in a way. Because you're gonna want, you're gonna want that setup option, or you might want protect, or you might want, you, know, you might even not want like knockoff or uh, poison jab. It's like with the influx of new, uh, like steel and like poison, no, not poison, but like, and also notable meta guys like like I'm all while and uh, like Char Y and like Salamence, like you're not gonna be hitting them for much damage as well. So you're gonna have like you're not gonna have like the best move. Like pull the hit that those Pokemon went so, um, like definitely recycle with Muck is uh is a huge like boon to it. It's just that like it just doesn't have like the like the move set for it. So, um, whether or not this becomes a thing, and the, what sets it like a low and Muck apart from like say like 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 Snorlax is like Snorlax can just. Go, get, go offensive immediately with Belly Drum. 
and still get its uh, HP back. So, and it doesn't have to worry about like uh, um, about like stab or like well, it doesn't have to worry about coverage because it will just run like let's say uh, return high horse power, also either ice punch or uh, or uh, fire punch because that's another thing that Snorlax like got. So, um, so yeah, Snorlax like. I think still has somewhat of a slight edge over Muk, just because it can still do that belly jump sweep thing, which Mimikyu is I'm about to get to. But, but for now, I think I it's still like we have now another Gluttony Recycle user, so that's something you, gotta, you all have to bear in mind. So, like we won't see Muk drop down in usage and some form in times of what's anytime soon. I think it's gonna I think it will I think it's gonna come down to like how people use Muk, like later on, because I think. It's just uh, just a matter of okay, what do I want on that move set? So, but I'm kind of rambling at this point. So, <laughs> moving on. All right. So now we're talking about Mimikyu. So, Mimikyu has access to some interesting moves now. So it now has access to Trick, Drain Punch, After You, and it's a uh, signature C move, uh, Play Rough. Well, that's our Z Play Rough or whatever. Not Z Play Rough, but like. Uh, it's new uh, Mimikyu MC uh, move called uh, Let's Snuggle Forever, which is kind of the most. That's very scary if you ask me. So, um, uh, Mimikyu getting this move, pool, getting uh, this is very interesting because now you have access to uh, um, like a very strong fairy stab. Like, like let me, let me see if I could get the move set. Like, let's say, uh, let's go here. Uh, Mimikyu, let's compare uh, Play Rough with, uh, let, let's compare this with uh, Z Play Rough, so. Alright, so you notice the big, like, hey, there's like only a 15 uh, base power difference, but I think that's gonna be huge because now it can, it can definitely knock out Tapu Koko. Now, oh, oh, come on, that's just barely. That's just, you're barely knocking out Tapu Koko, but still, um, I think it just gives it another option now to, like, just knock out the opponent, so, but I just wanted to talk about some other moves, so. Alright, so, After You. After You is very interesting because I think you can see this more often on the Trick Room Mimikyu sects, like, let's say, like, uh, Mimikyu, uh, like, once, like, Especially for like the fast, faster Mimikyu variants, like it could just use after you to uh, get like uh, let's say like a Torful to use like um, eruption or something like that. So um, it would be like in the in this is like maybe for like to for it's like for your opponent to like maybe outspeed Torkoal, like or not outspeed but like have Torkoal outspeed the other two Pokemon. So um, but it's definitely an interesting move. Especially if, uh, if you're in like Tailwind or something like that, and you have a slow Pokemon, and you just want to give them that speed, that extra like, pri like I don't want to say it's priority because it's not, but that extra like, that bump in speed order. So, but one interesting move it got was a uh, Drain Punch, and uh, given that Mimikyu was already, like, I think this is gonna be very very huge for Mimikyu, especially like. Um, we already see the uh, the psycho variants with the uh, belly drum lack, so this is gonna give it like another option to actually kill. Uh, well, not I don't know. If, I don't wanna say the word kill, but like to beat Snorlax in a way. I'm not saying it. So let's see how much this does. Oh my god. Oh lord. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually kind of scary if you ask me. Like. I just put this without any investment, and it could actually just, and this is just a sn regular Snorlax. So now, if you're running uh, the Psycho Mimikyu, now it has an extra toy to play with, with Drain Munch. I think Drain Punch plus Psycho, plus no, and uh, Ghost Move like uh, Shadow Sneak is uh, perfect coverage. So it now has a way to hit like things like Cortana now. I don't think it will, and it can knock it out at plus six. Like without anything, so without any like investment, but still, that's a very, very huge move to get, because now it like uh, Mimikyu has a way to hit things like Heatran. It's I already can hit like things like Aegislash, or like uh, 
a Marowak, so... So I just needed something to hit those Steel types and Normal types. And just imagine, like, if this... If it had Drain Punch in, like, the regular format. <laughs> I'm gonna put Porygon on uh, two here. So... So, let's say, plus six. Alright. It's doing, like, over ha way over half, like, 70%. So... Uh, Drain Punch is definitely, like, uh... A new toy that Mimikyu will play, will definitely play around with, especially like the Psycho variants. Uh, lastly, a uh, trick. Trick is something that, uh, like I said, like uh, like maybe like Mimikyu has like something like a Choice Scarf or an Iron Ball that could just like that could like switch it for an sort of allied or for an enemy Pokemon. So that's pretty much all. But I think the big one takeaways from this is like Z Move and it's a uh, access to Drain Punch because like. That's gonna that's gonna make uh, like Mimilax teams even more annoying. Or <laughs> I don't know if that's the word, but yeah. So so you gotta watch out for Mimikyu now. So all right, another Pokemon you gotta watch out for Encore uh, Lilligant. Now Encore Lilligant um, is kind of huge if you ask me because uh, um, one the the ever so popular uh, Lilicals, I guess you could call it, now has a new toy to play with. And uh, that just causes even more mind games in Encore. Now we already seen this with the uh, Pelipper, uh, with Pelipper Golduck, but this is just gonna make it even like. But the fact that out of all Pokemon, Lily can got it as well is just gonna make facing Sun even more annoying. Because now Lilligant's gonna have like if like most of the time you're trying to avoid that damage output from like Torkoal from Eruption, and say you protect, and now you, you're locked just. Now they could lock you into like Encore, like it's one of those things where it's like there is no reason not to run Encore anymore, because now with that with that speed boost in the sun, you can just uh, Encore stuff and and now just uh, use your moves like like after you just to like get Torkoal to like erupt on your opponent's uh, side. So um, this is gonna just make facing Lilicole just even more annoying. So. And not only it has also uh, stuff like sleep, sleep powder. You all know about like uh, Z uh, Leaf Storm <laughs> and stuff. So this is gonna be very, very uh, quite an interesting Pokemon to uh, face against. I listen to Holucha here because uh, uh, it has a new move called a faint. So one copy, one popular thing we've been noticing in the ladder in the ladder lately is uh, a burden like. Uh, Paluchas paired with like, you know, you know, it's, you know, similar things like, you know, like the Drifloom, Drifloom, like Lele teams that like have like Unburden. I think you're going to see this a lot more with top Halucha, but the difference is that, does that have access to Tailwind? Yeah, it does. So, but the difference is between this, between Drifloom and Lele and uh, Drifloom and uh, Halucha is that Halucha now has a way to, uh, uh, break opponents protects and can just set up tailwind and threaten fighting types as well with like let's say like high jump kick so an encore as well it has access to encore so this thing is already like going to be even more annoying for the opponent so it's like the same thing with Lilikan like Halucha give it like say a terrain seed or or like also a, a misty seed with the uh, top of Lele and then just I don't think this is gonna be a move set, but like uh, this could be it. So, but yeah, it has a very good support options now for to like help uh, top of Lele for. Like let's say like you want to like, get rid of like a, a Pokemon, you can just go with uh, a Fant, and then you just go for Z Psychic, maybe catch them on the protect. So yeah, uh, Halucha's now. I don't want to say it's a threat, but something gotta consider. Um. So next Pokemon we gotta talk about is Incineroar. I think this is the last one, I'm taking the last one we'll, I'll cover, and I'll briefly talk about the, about the other two. So um, Incineroar now has access to Knockoff, which is really amazing because now it has access to a stab move that that can just that could just abuse easily. I know people still run uh, like Darkest Lariat. Is it like Darkest Lariat or? Uh... All right, let me see. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. It's Lariat. 
So, all right. So, just wanted to confirm that. Um, so I know people still run Darkest Lariat just to use its Z move to knock out things like Cresselia. But knockoff is also another option, like 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 uh, Incineroar has to uh, remove items, and it will be very useful come the time that it gets uh, its ab hidden ability Intimidate. But right now it doesn't have its hidden ability. You still have Blaze, which is still a good ability, but still, <laughs> everyone's dying for Intimidate. I'm just I know that for sure. Um, but like, yeah. And then you have its other coverage options. It has access to Thunder Punch, Low Kick, and Super Power now. So, um, I think these are your eight options for Intenor to have. I don't, I don't think we'll see Thunder, Low Kick or Super Power. I think we'll still see like things like, I've seen like Brick Break over uh, for its uh, fighting move because like you see, like I think they, like, chances are you'll probably like uh, want to break like uh, any like, any screens or like a veil, like, or a veil that your opponent sets up. So yeah, that's another thing to note. And lastly, uh, Thunder Punch uh, is an option now, so you want to, you could just want to hit something like a Talapini, Gyarados, or uh, or other fight flying Pokemon. So, or, that's great. But I think chances are you're gonna see Knock Off, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, and then last coverage move option or whatever. So, it gives Incineroar, but this, these uh, move tutors give Incineroar just some great utility. So, now Togo Tomorrow, oh, it changed. <laughs> Oh no. Um, why did it change? Alright, so. Alright, let me just see. Okay, I think it's Super Fang, yeah. So, Target Margo got access to a bunch of new support options. I think, like, before, uh, Target Amaru wasn't as good. Or, if most of VG17, I think Target Amaru was mainly there for just to, uh, pressure the opponent with fake out just ma it's it's mainly there just to uh ensure that Tapu Koko doesn't like use its stab uh let the train boost it like thunderbolts and it's just a way to like wall like just to be annoying so it has access to fake out it has zip zap just to flinch stuff and it's uh as encore as well so but now it has even more stuff it has access to super fang to reduce its targets to 50% of its HP or of its current HP, so that's really nice. So it doesn't have to rely on damage output anymore. It just has to reduce the the, the target's uh, HP. It also has a stab Iron Head, which is really good when it comes to facing like fairy opposing fairies, even like things like Mimikyu. It now has a way to hit Mimikyu very well. So and uh, top of Lele, so that's gonna be great. Um, helping hand is gonna be really, really good. You always like a helping hand here and there. So, helping hand just to boost like let's say or one of your attack like a Z move, like it, it ain't that bad. And lastly, you have uh, on endeavor just to, in case you want to uh, reduce the target's uh, HP to your own level. Like say like let's say you have like focus ash. Like let's say you have focus ash or even a self ash. You know, kind of akin to a baby. Like right choose you saw in like 2016. Um, so this is a there's some ideas like that I'm just throwing out. So um, yeah, Togo the Morrow got really buffed. <laughs> I got more buffed than like a lot of the other Pokemon. So it's really gonna be a somewhat decent support option now. But the only thing is I'm not just so sure how it'll do compared to the other legendaries all around. I think it'll show it do well. So um, I wanna skip Ante. But okay, so I, I just wanted to make a brief note that like I was looking through this list and I only saw that Entei now has a good ground move and Staunting Chantrum, so <laughs> now it has a way to hit like Heatran, a side bulldoze, so that's something, I guess. So lastly we'll talk about Line Noon. Line Noon now has access to extreme speed via braiding, not uh, like event moves, so that is something to be terrified about. Especially with how like uh Biggie Berry, super percent, like 50% berries are a thing, and paired with Gluttony, like, I think Lineoon might <laughs> be on those, like, certain, on those teams. And it still has, like, a very good 100 uh, speed stat, so, and I wonder how much would extreme speed do. <laughs> so, let's say we have Lineoon, and, uh, 
No, we we want to have Jolly here. So let's say we want to have max speed or something, and then you just it doesn't have the best move pool, so or maybe it doesn't it acts as a play rough, but still. See how much this does to try Y. Well, it knocks it out with the plus one, but then again, you never deal with things like Landorus, T. So at plus five, if, after Intimidate, you can still knock out Landorus T, so it's something to note. Uh, you can also kill Metagross with uh, Shadow Claw, assuming you're at, you manage to get there. No, no wait, it's still bulky. It's still bulky. So, well, there you have it. So, Light Noon is. Oh, great. Uh, great. Oh, uh, man. I just saw something right now, so. But I'm probably just gonna end the video here, so. <laughs> Thought I got spooked by something, but. Anyways, um. So, there's like my list of Pokemon that have gotten. That. They're, they've gotten buffed. That are like, um. That you might see a significant amount of usage, like or a rise in usage. So, like, I definitely, I'm, not, I, I probably kept rambling along for like most of the video, so I would apologize. So, um, but yeah, I'd say some of the Ultra Beasts and some of the Pokemon, like, let's say, if I had to say which ones, like, you gotta watch out for now, for Amosa's one Pokemon, you gotta like that's that got buffed. Another one is uh. Is Top of Fini, who's with the Ice We Wind, it's just gonna be like uh, more annoying to deal with. Uh, no, Kartana is now uh, gonna be also annoying, but the Axis Knockoff, uh, Kamo as well. Mimikyu with Drain Punch is just gonna make uh, dealing with the uh, dealing with the Mimilax teams even more annoying. I think that's gonna give Mimikyu a way to like Drain Punch alone with like in tandem with like something like a Shadow Snake is gonna give Mimikyu. Like just enough coverage, enough, to not coverage, but enough to like uh, be able to deal with opposing teams or pressure the opposing team while still get access to recovery. So then you have these other two like Lilligant, Halucha, Incineroar, and uh, and Toga the Mario, who are just gonna be like I, they're gonna be very good, great support Pokemon. So Lilligant with access to Encore now. Halucha with faint, and you already saw it's move pool. It has stuff like Encore and Tailwind, so so those uh, uh, terrain modes like uh, teams are not gonna let up anytime soon. So and Cinderor has access to knockoff and Toga the Maru out of like all for some reason they just gave it like it all. It's like like Toga the Maru they just gave it like all these moves that it would have just been way much more better than like. Like, Toga the Mario, you already saw a lot of usage in, like, current, the current VGC 17 format. But if it's, but this is going to make it, I think, its usage somewhat sustainable a little bit. So, going into 18, so. Just because, think of it, like, thing is, like, I think, still think it, things like Tapu Koko will be, like, a thing, a uh, major threat. So, yeah. So, this was a very long video I did. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And leave a like comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be doing more uh, individual Pokemon analyses so in the coming like uh, days. So I'm gonna probably start with this. So probably as soon as like they update the stuff. So, um, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. So see ya.